Hey, what's going on, guys? How would you like to make $300 to play Borderlands 3 for a week? Well, we got some news, and that looks like what Gearbox will be doing in early February. So this is something that I'm pretty excited about. We're going to go over the information, why it's significant, and... I will say this, I put out my predictions for 2018, why I think Borderlands is happening this year, and some people are like, nah, dude, and I got some resistance, so I went ahead and put out the video as to why I felt that way and provided evidence, and we went through it, and this information we just got would have fit so well into that video, and it wasn't but like a week late, but... It's exciting. So Gearbox tweets out, hey, Gearbox fans, do you live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area? Are you interested in helping us entertain the world? We've got a paid playtesting opportunity for you. Learn more here. Okay, so I'm like, well, Gearbox makes Borderlands. Borderlands 3 is definitely well on its way. They want testing. The brain is going. Okay, must be Borderlands 3. So let's go check out the web page. All right, so we're looking at the uh, job opening, the job posting, and it's all pretty standard, right? So they're looking for people that can play video games so you can use a controller or a keyboard and mouse. They're looking for people that can communicate either written or verbally and that they can work well with people. So you're looking at your average gamer that plays with uh, people in multiplayer, whatever, you know, just be able to talk about what you're playing. All right, cool. So here's the important part. This is a paid contract position that lasts one week and it's not like our focus testing program. So let's talk about why this is significant. So in my opinion, based off of my own experiences, when you're brought in for a certain amount of time, it could be a couple hours, it could be a couple day thing where they pay you and then they just blast you with information. And what normally happens, so I've been part of a focus test before and you know they bring you in, so I was an athlete growing up, I played baseball and basketball and sometimes you'd get people coming in working on maybe a new product or a training piece or maybe a new shoe company and they basically are like, all right, we wanna sell to guys between 12 and 25. So they bring in people like that and they just ask them questions and that's how it works. Usually they have a product or you know some sort of prototype already made you check it out. Maybe you can try them on and test them and you go from there. Okay, sweet. So now we've got video games and it's not like our focus testing program. So the focus testing program is definitely a game tester. And a game tester is somebody that, you know, works for the company all the time. They might spend an entire day running around a level just jumping, making sure they don't fall through the map, make, making sure they don't get stuck in the air. If they're climbing, they don't fall through the wall, get stuck in the wall, stuff like that. And then anytime a bug happens, they record maybe the area, how it happened, what they were doing, when it happened, what character, things like that. And it could be in an entirely untextured level with a block character and that's it. This is something where they're bringing in people for one week to play the shit that they have done, which is Borderlands 3. They might ask questions about the new location. Maybe they have flying vehicles and they want to know what people think about it. Maybe you're going to check out the new uh, round of Vault Hunters. So the new four playable characters off the start or six or whatever. Maybe you're going to che or check out the new uh, weapon manufacturers. What gimmick? This, that, and the other thing. Uh, we have sections of you know, moon gravity. Do the players want that again? They're going to ask them a bunch of different stuff about what they're going to play. They're definitely going to sit their asses down. They're going to play Borderlands 3 and they're going to tell Gearbox exactly what they think about it. So this is the portion in the development cycle where they want to make sure what they made is cool shit. That, that's what's going on here. Yeah, it could be Project 1v1, but that's already had tests you know, it's no secret what that is. It's an FPS card game hybrid. We know that. We don't know what's going on with Borderlands 3. We don't know who the villain is. We don't know where we're going. We don't really know that much about what's going on. So one, this is an opportunity 
for us to absolutely know that Gearbox has something that they want people to give their opinions on and play, and they may tweak from there. They may recast a voice actor if everybody hates them or thinks they're... Whatever. You don't need a million examples, but at the very least, this is, hey, Gearbox has something. They're doing something. Or the way I think about it, which is a little bit shitty, but... A lot of times they bring people in, they obviously sign NDAs if they see anything that is, you know, something that Gearbox doesn't want getting out, and (laughs) this is where the leaks start to happen. You know, somebody hops on a forum anonymously and goes, so in Borderlands 3, you're on Promethea, Tannis is the villain, there's this new manufacturer named blah blah blah, it does this, oh yeah, you can fly, this happens. But here's the thing, a lot of times those are bullshit, but a lot of times those are 100% accurate. We've found out about so many games because of that, so in the early February, we're going to have to definitely start checking stuff out, and we might get some pretty good stuff. And maybe if the testing goes well, it's before when I thought the 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 trailer could first come out. So maybe they're doing that final check before the trailer goes out. Maybe these people will even see the trailer to make sure it's a good trailer. So... It could be really, really close, and things are looking exciting. So I will leave you at that. I could ramble about this for quite a while. I'm going to cut myself off. If you guys like this, leave a like. If you got something to say, drop a comment. And if you guys like Borderlands, consider subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Later.